Hi guys, this is an AC power adapter of a printer. You can see the rating on the label input 100 to 240 volts AC and an output of 32 volts 5.6 amperes DC. So guys, the input 220 volts will be given here and when the power supply has been connected, this light will glow green. And then the output from this supply will appear on these two terminals, you see, which I have connected to this cord. And this is the remaining wire for this. Pointing it towards 750 volts AC. And this is the 220 volts AC supply. You see, at present it is flashing 256 volts AC. supply is on so guys this what you see is uh, the no hall sensor type of BLDC motor controller and this you already know is the printer adapter with an output voltage of 32 volts and current of 5.6 amperes now you will see the label of this controller says the voltage range of 48 to 64 volts and not below 48 volts and not above 64 volts and the power reading is 800 watts with the maximum current rating of 30 amperes so this means that i cannot operate this controller with this supply since it produces only 30 volts so guys now comes the boost converter 600 watts for stepping up the voltage of this printer supply and feeding it to this controller now guys the controller is 600 watts and can run at an input voltage of 8 volts to 60 volts and an output of 12 to 80 volts so here I'm going to give in 30 volts at input and get an output of 60 volts DC so guys as you can see this side says output plus and minus so these two output wires will be connected to the controller hey guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon for similar video notifications also, do comment on what else you would like me to add to this present video. Best regards, Electron. So guys, output terminals from the converter have been connected to the controller. Keep in mind connecting positive to positive and negative to negative. These three colored wires will be connected to the BLDC motor. So guys, this is the BLDC motor speed controller. This is the voltage display for the battery connected. This is the on off switch. At present it is on. And this is the accelerator for the motor. Okay. So let's connect this to the controller. Black to black, red to red and green to green. First red, green and finally black. Separating them. Yeah. The negative of the converter output was connected to the black terminal, thick black terminal of the controller and positive of the controller output was connected to the thick and thin as one to the positive output of the converter now all that is left is to connect the motor 750 watts e-rickshaw motor blue to blue green to green and yellow to yellow okay so guys now i'm going to connect this power supply to this boost converter pointing it towards 20 volts dc mode to measure the voltage from this power supply from the printer and also finding out which one is positive and which one is negative let's connect black here and red over here so it's negative and output is 30.8 so left one is red 31 volts output and left one is red lr l for left and r for red now this green terminal here is for positive and white one is for negative and left one is here for positive so let's connect the negative first negative has been connected to the right lr left for positive let's connect it to this there is going to be a little spark so so guys connection has been established and now all that is left is to run the accelerator and then you will see the movement of the motor over here 
so guys now i'm going to run this motor the accelerator is on it's ready let's hold it because it is going to take jerk before starting let me see yeah faster more 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 now for the final full speed now this is full yeah this is full that was not full this is full yeah okay so guys now i'm going to start it once again from a different angle speed 1 2 now fourth fifth sixth now this i think is full no the seventh is full and now stop so guys this what you see is a wind turbine i have connected a pulley on its shaft and it's a three phase wind turbine generator you can see three wires so guys here in this video i am going to use this wind turbine generator as a high torque low rpm brushless motor you can see guys that it is really smooth so first let's connect the three wires from the turbine to the controller in any way you like yeah all the wires have been connected and always make sure that all the wires are separate from each other now guys if i am going to keep this motor this way it is going to move like this and this when i run it because of the moment of inertia so let's keep it in the vertical form yeah and now it is free to run a little closer to the camera so yeah let's start the show okay i'm going to run it you see it has started running the speed is slow but the torque is very high it is unstoppable at this and i am running it at the slowest speed right now let's take it a little higher speed is a little higher more more and full yeah this is full speed zero so guys now i'm going to do the torque test on this wind turbine so as you can see that it has started now i'm going to try to stop it you see it is running at full speed but yeah it is not yeah it is going to injure me it's very strong it is just unstoppable yeah it won't stop So guys the best thing of using a wind turbine generator as an electric motor for scooters and uh, electric motorcycles is that the large number of poles increases the overall torque although it reduces the speed but that is exactly what we do by adding an additional gearbox to the motor which increases losses of the motor so without any losses you can get very high torque when using a wind turbine low rpm motor as a generator the rpm of this wind turbine is only 400 and uh, yeah this uh, power rating of this wind turbine is also 400 watts so here you can understand that 400 rpm and extreme torque without any gearbox and no frictional losses except for the shaft connected to the bearings up and down so guys uh, all these products are from banggoods and link for them have been provided in the description along with the coupons for the black friday sales at which you can get uh, the products at really low cost by using the coupons so yeah guys that's going to be all for this video see you in the next one thank you